Hello, it's Vicki with Mindful Minute, and it has been a long time since I have been consistent with my reading of this amazing book of Awakening. So I am making a commitment that every single day from now until the end of the year, I will continue this book. So this is the November 1st reading of the Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. And here's what it has to say. The next moment of love. To allow oneself to be carried away by a multitude of conflicting concerns, to surrender to too many demands, to commit oneself to too many projects. To want to help everyone and everything is to succumb to violence. The frenzy of the activist neutralizes his or her work for peace. Thomas Merton. Merton wisely challenges us not just to slow down, but at the heart of it to accept our limitations. We are at best filled with the divine, but we have only two hands and one heart. In a deep and subtle way, the want to do it all is a want to be it all, and though it comes from a desire to do good, it often becomes frenzy because our egos sees our goodness as a way to be revered. I have done this many times, not wanting to say no, not wanting to miss an opportunity, not wanting to be seen as less than totally compassionate. But wherever I cannot bring my entire being, I am not there. It is like offering to bring too many cups of coffee through a crowd. I always spill something hot on some innocent along the way. Helen Luke speaks to all this when she talks to the trap of good works. She refers to those who take refuge from themselves in an unreflective pursuit of good pouring all their energy into the redemption of society and other people while blind to their own personal darkness. It seems the old adage is a place to start. Do one thing and do it well. Though I would offer it as do one thing at a time and do it entirely. And it will lead you to the next moment of love. And the meditation activities are center yourself and think of the many kindnesses that you feel called to do. As you breathe, let your heart glow around one. Without thinking, pray for the others, but devote yourself today to the one. Well, I think this is um, well-timed uh, and... It reminds me of my spiritual advisor always tells me that feelings can't hit a moving target. And I am a very busy gal. And I can get lost in busyness like the rest of us. And I, I, I encourage myself often to let go of the glorification of busy. To let go of the glorification of doing too much. To let go of the idea that if I work hard, it will all work out. But the, the, the irony of that is that I get way less done because I'm way less efficient, because I'm incredibly frazzled and I'm, I have split energy and I'm not connecting to my, my inner source of creativity or my inner source of love. I'm just going in this frenzied word this frenzied word really speaks to me because I'm doing a lot. I have a lot going on and it's good and it's beautiful and it's great. And, I, and I'm really, really quite proud of myself because I have been, um, through this pandemic, has been quite the journey of um, I'm not sure what to do or I get paralyzed by fear or whatever, whatever the feelings come up. There's been a lot of them, and I'm sure for everybody, because we're all going through this together. Um, so so this frenzied feeling, this feeling, um, sometimes I, I either feel lethargic or I feel manic. And when it all comes down to it, and, and, and what's been um, 
the biggest learning lesson for me is that I keep being reminded to go inward. And, and in the last few weeks specifically, I've, I've been going inward. I've been able to go inward. And, and, and I went inward because of something not so great that occurred in my life, you know, because of a heart, because of a hurt, because of um, things that, that life throws at you that you don't really know what to do with. And uh, it's, it, it, it caused me to stop in my tracks, and I think that's what the idea is. Stop in my tracks and slow it and, and listen to what, what it is that my heart, that my one heart can, can do. Um, this part where it says, In a deep and subtle way, the want to do it all is a want to be it all. And though it comes from a desire to do good, it often becomes frenzied because our egos seize our goodness as a way to be revered. And if we're all honest, if I'm honest, I can't talk about us all. <laughs> I have to remind myself. If I'm honest, maybe that is it. That is something that I'm going to dig into. The other part in this reading that really really spoke to me was his last bit of advice. Do one thing at a time and do it entirely. And it will lead you to the next moment of love. And I, I encourage you all to, to find some space in your heart to do that. Some some space to do these meditations that he, he leads us to. And um, some grace. Give yourself some grace and some breathing breathing time and go a little bit inward and just allow allow that that one inside of you that 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 direction from inside to to drive you rather than all the things that you think you need to do or that you've gotten yourself caught up into if you're like me so um have a beautiful and blessed day. Be well, be safe, be kind to yourself and others. You can check out, I have a whole bunch of links in, in the notes below. Please subscribe and, and share and I will be doing this. I've made a commitment. I will be doing this every single day, even on the holidays. Um, but there, I have a great course coming up. It's a workshop series. If you ever have read this amazing book, The Four Agreements, I will be, I'm doing a workshop. This is my second time through, back by popular demand. We're doing a walk through the four agreements. It's starting this Saturday, September, um, November 7th. And we will be going through, the first one is being impeccable with your word. So I hope you can sign up. I hope you show up. And it, it has definitely been a life-changing book. And which is why I lo love to share it with others. And I hope that you're able to, to join in on the experience because it is, is quite profound if you put your heart into it. So that's all I have. Have a beautiful day.